Comedians, real quick, make some more noise. Give it up for your sexy host, Joe Rogers. I thought his name was Joe Rogers for years, so it's Rogers. So I've been putting the D in Rogers ever since I first met him. It's inappropriate. My name's Dennis Reed. I hail from Alaska, the frozen wasteland, the last frontier. That's right, there's a lot of Alaskans in here, so I'm gonna kind of team my jokes towards that shit. Uh, it's weird, you don't know a lot of facts. Uh, when you're a male in Alaska, when you're 14 years old, you are forced to have sex with a grizzly bear. Uh, you don't want to, there's no consensual about it. Um, you think this is a beard, this is actually just bear fur. This is bear fur, semen, and shame. If you look at my 21-year-old today boy right there, that Viking-looking motherfucker, see that? That's how, it's bear fur. Yeah, we all, we all look like that. All my kids are extremely hairy. That's just not fair. They all took after their Viking mother. I'm a Spaniard Romanian, and, and all my kids are blonde haired giants. So you better do what the fuck I say. No, no, put me down. I didn't want to push you. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was you. Yeah, yeah you get molested by a bear. It's not cool. Uh, we in Alaska have long and brutal winters, man. I'll tell you, everybody's always like, how do you like all that rain? I'm like, I've never had a shovel it. Since 2013, I have not owned a shovel. I have not had to dig my way out to go to fucking work. I've not had to plug my car in. I've not had to go like, oh, look, there's a baby moose. And then you're like, fuck, where's Mama Moose? Because <laughs> Mama Moose will kick your fucking head in, dude. Moose kill way more people than bears. There's another concern we have up there is how Texas thinks they're so fucking big. I don't know if you've seen us floating down there by the Hawaii, but we're fucking huge, man. I remember in the 90s, everybody was like, dude, how do you get fucking DSL to your igloo? I'm like, I've never seen an igloo in my life. I used to build snow shelters, but that's how you die, because a fucking snow grader will come and crush you and your friends while you're on 12 hits of acid and be like, is that real? Is that happening? Where'd Jason go? You know, there's also Florida. Florida Florida's got Florida, man. And, and I respect Florida, man. I mean, you gotta respect anybody who does a bunch of meth and then goes hangs out with alligators. That's just fucking terrifying. You know, they, 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 I just, I mean, the idea of a, a dinosaur high on meth scares me. But you know what scares me more? is with the uh, global warming, as fake or whatever it is you may think it is. These bears are now coming out earlier and earlier down the hills. It's where the rich people live with the shitty kids that do all the meth. Now you got a bear going through the garbage, and guess what? Get us a little bit of meth. Now you've got meth bear. First thing, first thing, you know, you laugh. Meth bear doesn't fucking hibernate. He needs to find shit to do to make money, all right? Bear stuff, bear stuff for meth. You got the state troopers up there like, oh fuck, we got another Winnie the Pooh looking for a honey pot. Meanwhile, he's standing behind him with like a fang missing, like, Rrr. I'll tell you. Another thing you learn about bears when you're 14 is they do not like it when you finish in their mouth. If you ever go to Alaska, remember that. They do not like it. Everybody, I lose them on that joke every time. It's okay to get raped by a bear, but don't you dare come in a bear's mouth, you sick son of a bitch. Salmon in shame. It's gonna be the name of my country band. People often ask you, well, does a bear shit in the woods? Let me tell you a story about Cantwell, Alaska, and hunting with my dad. I'm out there, uh, you know, hunting for about 10 days. You got to do what you got to do sometimes. You got to park the old three-wheeler, the big red. Anybody remember the big red three-wheelers? The neck breaker. Anybody remember Jason? No, because he broke his neck trying to go up the hill, bro. <laughs> fucking broke my fucking beer, bro. I'm glad you're dead. Anyways, I'm sorry. He's not dead. He's paralyzed for life. <laughs> Fuck that guy. They don't spill somebody's beer, man. There's rules. There's rules, right? So anyways... Fucking, I get off my three-wheeler, I leave it parked there, I go over here, I sit down, I'm like, I gotta do what I do. And there's a moment that you, you gotta understand that you can get really close to nature, and that's when you're shit in the woods. You're down there, you're completely vulnerable, you listen to the birds, the squirrels, nothing, you know, they're just out there making all those happy noises. I'm like, this is cool, man, you know, and all of a sudden everything goes deathly fucking quiet. You know what that means? There's something big that wants to eat everything there. Uh, grizzly bears are huge. They're big, giant, scary creatures, and they move like fucking ninjas. You don't hear them. I just went, well, that's weird and quiet, and I looked over, and I'm like, hey, there's Yogi fucking Bear, right fucking there. And I'm cool, dude, because I got a 30 out fucking six. Anybody know anything about guns here? That is a big fucking rifle, dude. You can fucking take people out. Later on, I found out that my dad was scoping me through it when he caught me smoking weed for the first time. But that's another show. I'll make you pay for that one, motherfuckers. Anyways, 
So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking like, man, I'm glad I got this 30 out six and I realized that I left it on my three-wheeler, which is on the other side of the bear. I am nothing at this point. You are food. You know it. Everything you think you're tough, motherfucker? That guy that punched a kangaroo? Fuck that guy. Also Australia. What the fuck? But uh, I just, I remember looking at it and it's looking at me and I realized I could die. And I mean, I wasn't a gender. There was no blood going. The squirrels were like, oh fuck, dude, he's gonna die. And I remember I looked in the bear's eye and we made eye contact. And I looked at it and I recognized, I recognized in that bear, bear's eyes something. It was fucking disgusting. He's like, dude, what the fuck? You come into my house, you shit on my floor, you fucking take you over this place. I don't know what this red thing is over here, but it smells disgusting. And then he looked at me and he's like, you got any meth? Like, don't smoke meth, motherfuckers. Happy birthday, Christopher. I love you, dude. 21 years old. All right. I think that's all I got. Joe usually tells me to stop talking by now. Oh, you, you're five minutes short. Oh, that's what she said. All right, I'll tell you some one-liners then. All right. What do a baby and an Etch-a-Sketch have in common? If you shake them both hard enough, they reset. <laughs> By the way, I'm looking for a babysitter, which I'm cool with babysitter porn. This is me not knowing how much time works. You see that? I was like, that was 12 minutes, right? I'm going way over. What's up with stepmom porn? Like, I had a stepmom, and let me tell you something about this lady. She was a nice fucking lady. She, she loved my dad, she would make me munches every day, not like that. Uh, you know, like, I didn't know that I could just sit out there fucking jerking off on the couch. Now you laugh? I didn't get you this whole time, dude, and now you're laughing. And, and, and you fucking sitting there just jerking off, and she's coming in with a laundry basket like, Oh, yeah, I'll fuck you, dude, that's cool. I don't know, I just, I like getting lots of things. I don't want to get herpes from my fucking stepmom. Again. Anyways. Oh. Choosy dogs choose Jeff. My dog loves peanut butter. A lot. That, well, that, I don't have enough time for one more in that joke's frame. All right. Uh, what else do I got? Uh, oh. Oh. I've been homeless for the last month and a half. Kind of went on this whole alone thing. I'm going to pick up the speech. So, uh, pay attention. Anyways, I'm out in the woods. I'm kind of sad. I'm sitting there alone. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. It's raining. And I look over and there's one lone tent out there. And uh, it's lit up on the inside. And I, I realize as I'm watching is these people are smoking meth. Like it's going out of style. It was really fun to watch. Dude, you can see them. I started making bets with myself. When are they going to start fighting? I was off by three fucking minutes. And they start fighting. They calm down. They're finally out there. They stop looking for shit in the ground. They're sitting in there. And then I decide, you know what? I'm bored, so I just start creeping around their fucking tent, going shh, 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 shh. and then eventually I was like nah, nah. alright, that's a callback that's how you end comedy don't laugh at me, I don't care, have a good time guys thank you, alright that is sweet, everybody yeah, alright uh, Dennis, please don't kill yourself. All right, thank you. Yeah, just say that. All right. Let's keep it going for your feature comedian tonight. He came all the way out from somewhere not in Bremerton. Everybody give a warm welcome to Sam Ellison.